We are Science Sophie. This is Coastal News, a home and away podcast. Your weekly episode companion podcast for your favourite Aussie soap. Hi everybody and welcome back to Coastal News, home and away podcast. This is our first look episode. But before that, don't forget that our main weekly podcast, podcast, podcast episode, (laughs) can't, can't talk today. Uh, was uploaded yesterday on Saturday morning. As usual, we discuss all the drama from last week in Summer Bay. So if you haven't listened to that episode, go back and have a listen um, and hear what we thought about last week's drama. But if you're ready for spoilers, are you ready for spoilers, Si? Uh, yeah. Yeah, ready for spoilers. Yeah, then yeah we're why, not? Some... <laughs> why not? <laughs> we're going to talk about what's coming up on the show this week on Channel 5 and 5 Star. Um, a sneaky peek ahead, aren't we? So how are you doing, Si? You all right? Good weekend? Oh, yes, thank you. Um, yeah, how about you? Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby, as we say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not too shabby. Um, I guess uh, by the magic of podcast, I'm not here. Oh, yes, you're not. Well, you, hopefully you exist somewhere. You're just not existing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's not, that wasn't dark. <laughs> <laughs> imagine. Oh, can no, you don't. imagine? Oh no, because I can't even stop these going out because you schedule them. So that yeah. would be weird. Yeah, oh, that don't. would be. Oh, it's, giving no. me the, it's giving me the creeps. But... <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. no, you, you are just not in the country right now. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a whole different country. Mm. Wow. Is the weather good? <laughs> it's great, yeah. <laughs> good. Good. In a word. <laughs> in a word. Cool. <coughs> I forgot where we go now. Oh yeah, game. We do a game on first look, don't we? So I need to know because so we're going to watch the next episode. Well, we've we've already watched it actually. Technically, we're, we're going to watch the next episode. <laughs> no, I'm so one. I've got an headache. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it will be Monday the 29th of April at 6:30 p.m. Five star pace, won't it? The next one that we're supposed to watch, but we've already watched. Because you're not here and you're not in the country. This is very confusing. Have we already watched it? I don't think I watched this one. <laughs> by the point, <laughs> by the point that this goes out, we will have. <laughs> oh right, okay. I don't think we. I don't know if we will. I don't oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. I am just dying here. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> How do people watch this online? <laughs> right. Um, I've got a number in my head of what I think mm. it is, but I don't know what day it's on. <laughs> um, okay. 8,217. 8,217. Let me put that in the bibbidi bop machine. Because I watched it by accident last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you actually mentioned it to me about half an hour ago, and I was like, he's going to bloody remember this number. Hang on, I'm, just for suspense, I'm putting it into the machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's saying that you are correct 8217 is the next yeah. episode oh, shock horror um, I accidentally yeah. watched it yesterday I mean I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I am anymore oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to June because we've got to do this for like the whole of June but anyway anyway mm-hmm. moving on shall we shall we look at the spoilers just go for it <laughs> just whatever yeah <laughs> <laughs> completely derails okay so the first line of the week for that week that's coming (laughs) for whatever week this is is Mackenzie fears that she's been exposed now is this the kiss that Alf may or may not have seen yeah we didn't really talk about this did we yesterday um whenever that was (laughs) (laughs) um Alf is, um, I don't think he saw it, you know, I think, I think this is melodrama. Yeah. Do you, even do you if he just... had, I don't think he would, I don't think Alf is, I think if anyone in the Bay is going to spot you kissing someone, having an affair with them, um, that you can trust not to gossip, I think it'd be Mr. Stewart. Right. Does Alf even know who Levi is? Yes, because he went to the fun. He went to the fundraiser for Max Scat's oh, thing. Yeah. thing. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and he did the keynote speech, didn't he? So everyone knows he who Levi is. Pebble. I know. Sorry, earworm again for days. Yeah. So yeah, he wouldn't know who he was because he saw him do the keynote speech about how much he loves Mac, didn't he? So yeah, sorry, yeah, that's right. 
Um, but yeah, it's a small town, and I think if if anyone's going to run into you doing something dodgy and not talk about it, I think it'd be Mr. Stewart because everyone else would literally go and tell the next person they saw what they saw. But I think he would just be like discreet. Do you reckon? Yeah, I don't think he's going to go around telling people he saw them slogging in the car park. No, but I reckon he'd um, he'd tell her a few words. But does he know that she's? He does he know that he's married? Because he doesn't That's, wear a ring uh, or anything. I mean, Mackenzie didn't know until like the third time in the sack. Well, he might have just. I don't think he's seen it anyway. Otherwise, mm. he'd sort of he just sort of waved or something. He'd have hoo-rooed. <laughs> If you you have someone snogging (laughs) your face off, you don't you don't interrupt someone in a car park. Would Would you? I would. I was. I would scuttle past as if I hadn't seen it. If it was me, (laughs) I'd be like, "Are you back? (laughs) Yeah, really? No, yeah, no. I wouldn't. I would have run away like he did with my hat over my face. Um. Okay. Remy is caught in a lie. Well, it's got to be the bike, hasn't it? Mm. He's, I think he. I think in first look trailer, I think he's fessing up that he didn't really mean what he said. That's true. Yeah. God, yeah. Let me think now. Yeah, that that is true in the trailer. He um he was saying, wasn't he? I wasn't mm. truth. I told you a lie. He literally said I lied. I think didn't he? Or words yeah. to that effect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Justin and Leah set a date. Yes, five weeks time, four weeks it, maybe. In exactly <laughs> five weeks time, <laughs> or four by the. Yeah, well, oh, I don't even know I'm excited this. for the wedding. I'm I'm looking forward to it, especially if John is in. You know, that's the only reason I am looking forward to it now yeah. is the fact that John is going to have his John show. Uh, I want the John. I want it. the John show, and his navy uniform. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. I'll be very disappointed if he's not now because I've got that in my head now as a thing but there we go um remy comes clean to brie well he's already said that oh he got caught in a lie yesterday but yeah he he tells the truth blah blah blah. oh coastal news claxon tane is dragged in the coastal news so they've written an article about him by the sounds of it well there were there was there's been signs from that weird yeah the um the journal peter Peter something yeah, he, yeah. Um, there were signs this was coming, wasn't there? You know, he was, yeah. Dana said a few things she shouldn't have done. And uh, Rue's there checking the, the website every five minutes, making sure they haven't posted anything, isn't she? Well, it's funny. It, isn't it interesting how the press is taking a negative view on what he's doing? Mm. Isn't that interesting? From an outside perspective, it is a bit weird, though, isn't it? Mm. It it is, but like, why does that? It sounds like they're villainizing him, and actually he's yeah. trying to do a good thing. They're villainizing him because that makes headlines, and he, as we talked about recently on here, he's not a citizen, and his he's comes from a family who on paper sound horrendous. Yeah, well that's true. Yeah, <laughs> you know they've got rap sheets as long as their arm and. Criminal gangs coming over here, taking our babies. I mean, we know that Ari didn't kill Matthew, but as far as the outside world is concerned, he was the murderer. He was in prison when he died. You know, he was banged up for murder when he died, even though we know that it was Chloe that killed him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Then there's the whole armed robbery thing. Yeah, exactly. So he's he's done armed robbery, and then he's escalated to murder. As far as everyone else is aware, it's only us that know that that's not true. And he took the rap for Chloe because he was, you know, dying. friends with Keith. May yeah. There was a moment, wasn't there, where they called on Heath? Called the River Boys, them. yeah, they did. And there was like Parata River Boy mashup thing, wasn't there? It was good, that. It was good. It was good. <laughs> so, sorry, Mr. David, I know you hated that. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I think loads of people hate. I think Jamie, regular tweeter, Jamie hates the River Boys as well. But not many people are fans. But I love that. It was when he got out of the car and was like, "You're on my turf, mate." Yeah. Get out of it. Get out. Uh, Rue finds a clue, or is it a red herring? What, like in the dad's fishing tackle shop? 
Oh, does it actually say, or is it a red herring? Yeah, it says Rue oh. finds a clue, or is it a red herring? Is it a clue about where the babies come from? Maybe. Yeah, well, the mother, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Hmm. Uh, Tane's troubles escalate. Oh dear, doesn't sound good, does it? Oh, well, it's it's in the paper, so you know mm. that it's going to expose him a bit, isn't it? The whole town's going to come for him with pitchforks, aren't they? I don't, I don't, I, I don't know the link though. It's I'm struggling with this. Like, he, he's 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 not like killed anybody. Do you know what I mean? Like, no. But it, uh, people get weird about babies, don't they? So this is a baby that's been found on the beach, who's now in the in the care of some random man who found her, who's named her. And yeah, but it's not in his care, is it? Yeah, but the way that Dana explained it, you don't know how this Peter's written what Dana told him. Yeah, that's true. I suppose it all hangs on whatever this article is. Dana was really flippant with what she said because she she was in Salt talking to him, but really she was there to try and make Xander notice that she was with another guy. So she wasn't really concentrating on what she was telling him because she was too busy watching Xander, making sure that he could see her with this other bloke. Look, I'm over you. I'm I'm on a date with this person. So while she's doing all that, she's just blurting out this crap about Tane. And she's not really thinking about what she's saying. She was really, like, careless with what the information that she gave, I thought. So this guy could have twisted it into God knows what. Mm. But she said something like, he's not left her side. He's been in the room the whole time with the baby. It is a bit weird. When you look at it, like, that's a cold fact. You know, no no... You don't know Tarni. No context kind of thing. You you could write that as this weirdo is obsessed with the baby. He comes from a bad family. I don't I think we're being hard on him personally. Oh no, I'm not saying that's how I feel. I'm saying that's how they've written the article. They must have. <laughs> yeah. Because otherwise, why would he be um dragged in the coastal news and then troubles escalate? It sounds like something really bad's been written about him. Yeah, it's got to, it's got to be bad, hasn't it? It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and I think the next line might be related. So it says, Dana's apology is unwelcome. Apologies to Tane, I'd assume. That would suggest that, yeah... Uh, Everything is all kicked off as a result of what she said to the journal, doesn't it? So you're yeah. right in what you're saying, that whatever Dana has said has dogged him in the coastal news. It's then mm. resulted in some sort of backlash. She's apologised for it and he said, rack off. Yeah, because he's he's not himself. He hasn't slept. He's been really harsh with people that he's friends with and he doesn't know Dana from Adam, does he? So uh, I can see I can see that being a bit... Awkward. Yeah, yeah, me too. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's gonna get a head bitten off, isn't she? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I quite like Tony Angry though. Oh yeah, I mean, I, th- I, I think he does Angry really well, Ethan Brown. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Right. Uh, Valerie tries to hide her suffering. Suffering. Uh, suffering. Is, is she is she also off the pills and ah yes yeah yeah cold turkey maybe but, uh, I don't know why though if she said because because I I have the assumption that she has done this a long time you know yeah I mean she said she was in the clinic for eight months so I have questions about how she even got hold of these drugs and stuff in the first place. And whether Same. she had them in there or, I don't know. Or, you know, she, before her brother died, she said that she was basically a bit of a party girl, didn't she? She, you know, she was going out getting drunk and yeah, the, the whole accident happened because she was at a house party and she was wasted and her brother came and picked her up. So was that drugs as well or was it just booze or what? I've got questions about. It's all a bit vague, isn't it? We don't actually know, do we? Yeah. yeah. How long has she been taking these for? Has it been since the accident to cope? Or, you know, were these a catalyst for the accident? Was was the drug taking 
prior to the I don't know. Mm. We don't know enough about her yet, do we, really? No, and all we know is she uses this when she feels like things are getting too much. Mm. This is what she turns to. It's a bit two-dimensional, really, that, isn't it, as an explanation? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is a bit, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, next episode st- starts out with this, so it says Theo's holding out on Valerie. Right. That sounds like holding out, not not giving her the drugs, maybe. So if it, if it is what you think it is, you, that she's decided to give them up, maybe she's saying, oh, just give me one. I don't know. Mm. Uh, that's that, but if that's the case, tables have turned a bit. Yeah, and really quickly as well. Really yeah. quickly. Maybe something, maybe something's happened in the meantime that's made apart from maybe Kirby and talking, you know, the idea of Kirby dobbing them into Rose, because that's obviously put the wind up her a bit. Yeah. Maybe something else has happened and she's thought, oh, I need to stop, I need to, you know, I don't know, knock this on the head because it's just, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's very quick because we've just seen them. You know, like I can say he's been scoring off her dealer this week. It's the, yeah, it's the other way around. It doesn't. It, what's going on here? Hmm. Don't know. Um. Yeah. Har- Harper and Dana clash. Is this about the baby again? Oh, because Harper's team Tane, isn't she? Oh well, no. God. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, it's, do you think it's that? Do you think she's like, oh, I can't believe you did that to Tane? And she's like, well, it was an accident. Uh, I said to you, didn't I? You know, why is Dana my new favourite character? I really, really like Dana. And I think it's a genuine mistake what's happened. Oh, yeah. I think that that piece of work, Peter, has caught her a, a bit, un, you know, a bit, a bit vulnerable mm. after being rejected. I yeah. think she's human and she's done a human thing. I yeah. think if a, her own sister turns on her, her only rock, really, mm. I, think, I think that is um, poor form on Harper's part. Yeah, but it would give us a bit more information about how she really feels about Tane, wouldn't it? That's true. Yeah, that's true, because that's been a lingering debate, hasn't it? Let's mm. face it. Um, yeah test. she's all like oh don't kiss me and then she's like oh i can't find a man to date what am i gonna do oh mixed signals yeah. much uh, mm. yeah. yeah and we know in the past as well from this tom situation that she's chosen her sister over men in the past that she was going to marry so if she decides to pick tane over dana that's interesting as well yeah i forgot about tom poor tom um, poor tom still to the altar <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be a turning point wouldn't it because if she you know didn't marry her fiance because she chose dana druggy dana at that point over him then if these two fall out over tane that would be interesting yeah and that says a lot really like you say about the harper tane sitch yeah um because i i don't believe that that is platonic on her mm. No, I don't either. I just read the next line and I nearly went, Ugh! and then I realised I hadn't finished reading it and it's fine because I was like, oh, that's a massive right. spoiler. Oh, <laughs> so God. the whole line, if I if I read it properly, is Cash scopes out Stevie's body of work. And I read it <laughs> as... Read body. <laughs> I saw body and went, what? <laughs> Stevie's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was over quick. No, body of work. So that means he's watching her films. Oh, I'm interested in this because he didn't care who she was a minute ago and now she he wants to watch her films. This is interesting. Because he, he said to her, I don't, I don't watch horror nice. films. Uh, didn't he? He said, I don't watch horror films. And now he's like watching all of her back catalogue. <gasps> Gone down to Blockbuster in Yabby Creek and he said, give me your Stevie Marlowe. And they said, right, seven forms of ID, please. <laughs> <laughs> And make sure you rewind it before you bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> and you can have some popcorn for £25. Um, yeah. That's right. interesting. I'm interested. It, yeah, but I'm going to I'm gonna just be, like, facetious here. <laughs> Go on, then. I'm going to be like, mm, honestly, lit- 
is he checking out her literal body of work? Oh my god, I don't know because we've had more vague descriptions in the synopsis before, so it could be. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that mm-hmm. she's in the shower or something, and he's you know <laughs> he's checking for cameras. All clear. <laughs> <laughs> no bugs. Oh. All good in here. <laughs> oh, no. oh, sure. I'm interested in that because that's like I say, it's a yeah, it's no. a turnaround. You, you, yeah, on... you've it's a turn on more like. <laughs> <laughs> you've you, you've already lived this fantasy. Yeah. I know. I know. I am Stevie. I'm living through her right now. It's great. Um, Okay. Oh, and the next line is about Stevie. So Stevie has a target on her head. So this is escalated. This isn't just stalking anymore. This is, I'm going to hurt you. Don't we know this, though? Well, stalking doesn't always lead to violence, does it? I don't know. (laughs) I don't. I I mean, if if home and away is your only... In that case, 100% of the time. <laughs> it generally leads to explosions. and Yeah. yeah. Is, she, is she a target on her head, not her back? Is that is that typed wrong? Or has she got, like, one of these lasers on her forehead? Like, oh, oh she, like the red dot. Sniped. I mean, you yeah. see the red dot, and then and then Cash has to get his bulletproof jacket out, like John Wick. And, yeah. 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 Baby, I'll be just make a note of that song for. Uh... <laughs> I've I've got I will always love you playing in my head right now. Obviously, I've already made a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm going to watch the Bodyguard this weekend. Right? Okay. Um, Theo is forced to lie. Mm, drugs, drugs. It's got to be drugs. What else would he be lying about? Oh yeah, can only be lies. Lies. It wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. I don't know what he's gonna say, but yeah. why are you? Uh, I'm so chill in an interview. It's because I, it's because I was <laughs> chill, man. <laughs> I've had a personality transplant. Yeah. I've lost it now. I think I sound like I'm on pills. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this whole episode is just going off the rails. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whatever. This it won't go out for another three weeks. We'll we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> we'll forget all about it. I know. <laughs> uh, and you'll be in a different country. So yeah, it's oh, fine. Man. Yeah, just tonight it's me. <laughs> uh, and then the last line of the week says Valerie refuses to help herself. This doesn't mm. make any sense, Sophie. Mm. It's, it's uh, suddenly Valerie's the junkie. <laughs> I don't get it. Last week. I think I think Valerie's always been the junkie. I just think she's had a better handle on it, hasn't she? Uh, yeah, but now but... now it seems to be Theo would really holding out as they, you know. I don't get it. Yeah, Theo, would... no. yeah. Uh, am I have I missed something? I think we probably have, but I don't We're on the right week. <laughs> Are we on the right week? <laughs> I think there's probably something that's happened that's not been in the synopsis or that we've forgotten was in the show last week. Maybe I don't know. It's been a week. It's been a week. Been, we don't even know what day it is, sorry. So come on. We're doing well just to get through this episode. So there you go. We've done well. <laughs> just take it on, just whatever. Listen to this. Jenny. Don't listen to this. <laughs> you've met, I mean, it's usually the end, so you've listened to it, so whatever. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> Why? Ta-ra. <laughs> Please take the time to like, subscribe and review Coastal News wherever you source your podcasts and ensure you never miss an episode.